Check out our brand new Tony Stark Edith glasses, Arc Reactor necklaces, and Stormbreaker Loki scepter and Mjolnir keychains. All can be found in the link in the description down below. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. In Avengers Endgame, the Sword of Thanos is still one of the biggest mysteries that have yet to be explained to us. The sword wielded by Thanos is one of the most unique and powerful weapons we've ever seen in the MCU, and is powerful enough with the mic behind Thanos to actually break vibranium, as it broke Captain America's shield in two with several blows. Many people, myself included, have speculated where this weapon could have come from, but today I post to you guys a brand new theory on the origin of Thanos' sword that links directly to his lineage. Originally I speculated that Thanos' sword was crafted on Nidavellir, the same place where Stormbreaker as well as Mjolnir were created by Eitri the Dwarf. However, according to Eitri's comments in Infinity War, it doesn't actually appear as if Thanos has been to Nidavellir before that point, or had weapons made for him. So, another theory that was recently posed I find to be far more accurate, that theory being that Thanos' weapon is in fact an ancient one created by his ancestors, the Eternals. The Eternals that are getting their very own movie in the MCU in Phase 4. This would in fact not be the only thing that Thanos had that originally belonged to the Eternals, as Thanos' ship, the Sanctuary 2, is an ancient vessel that was also likely constructed by the Eternals. This leads me directly into the theory that Thanos' very ancestors, the Eternals, created by the Celestials, also created Thanos' sword, and using their advanced technology is the reason why Thanos' sword appears to be on the same level of Stormbreaker as well as Mjolnir, and maybe this will be something that will be explained in the Eternals movie, as there are clear Thanos connections to that film. But the more likely option is that the artifact itself wasn't actually created by the Eternals, but the Celestials. We saw in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 that the Celestials did actually create a staff that was capable of wielding an Infinity Stone, and it does appear as if Thanos' sword is more ancient in nature and design. So basically the theory goes that Thanos, in his pursuit of the Infinity Stones, may have actually discovered this sword. Or perhaps it was an artifact placed down by the Eternals and part of his family at one point in time. And Thanos took it as a conqueror after his homeworld of Titan fell into ruin. But still, the sword is a major mystery, and still something that has yet to be explained in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. All we know for sure is that it's likely not constructed out of the metal Uru, the same metal used to construct Mjolnir as well as Stormbreaker. So again, the most likely the option at this point in time is that it's some type of ancient weapon. But what are your guys' thoughts on this, and what do you guys think Thanos' sword is actually made out of? Do you guys think that this could be an ancient weapon that one day belonged to the Eternals or the Celestials, or is there another origin in store for this sword entirely? Again guys, don't forget to enter the Infinity War Hot Toy Figure Giveaway. To enter that, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me in the comments down below what your favorite moment in Avengers Endgame was. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team and have a great day.